In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can link a video file with an audio file in Recordbox video so you can start VDJing. And I will also give you a couple of other video DJing tips and tricks. So if you're interested into getting into video DJing, watch this video till the end. Let's go. What's good you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. First thing first, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been getting a lot of questions about Recordbox video and there is this one particular problem where the DJs are loading an audio track and then they want a particular video to be played but they're not able to link them together so that it starts playing automatically every time they drag and drop that audio file. Now to explain what I'm trying to tell you, I will show you my screen and you will understand what I'm trying to say here, okay? So let's jump into the screen and I will show you what I mean. Now that you guys can see my screen, first things first, now to get into video mode, if you are not aware, you have to click on this export tab here and then click on performance. So you get into the performance mode. All right. Once your performance mode is open, you will be uh, looking at this option here, which is basically the video plugin. Now, in case for whatever reason, if this is not available or if you're not able to see this, all you need to do is click on the settings tab here and click on video and enable video function. Okay. See if this is not picked, this will not be visible. So enable that. All right. Now that is when your video will be enabled. Now, when you have this enabled, right? You can see that you'll have to tap on it and then your performance mode extends to performance mode with video. Okay. Now this is the layout that you will be getting now. So for example, let's say I'm not a video DJ and I have a lot of uh, audio files. Okay. So I'm going to choose one audio file randomly. I'm going to drop it here. So now when I play this, this is what happens. All right. The audio starts playing, but now what if I want to add a video along with it? So now this is where the problem comes in. Now what DJs do is that they have a file on their desktop, they drag it and they drop it into the uh, video preview window. This window here is called the video preview window. So um, when you actually drop it here, the video is dropped here and it will play when you play the audio file. So when I play here, as you can see, the video starts playing along with it, but this is simple. But then did you notice that I had to do two steps? I had to first load the audio file and then I had to also load the video file like that, drag it and drop it. But this is the kind of time that you will not have while you're DJing, right? You need to have a way to link this audio file with that particular video file. Now, the way to do it is by using this link function. Now, this is when you tap on link. Okay this audio file will be linked to this video file which you have uh, dropped here but as you can see this is grayed out okay now this is a problem which a lot of people face and the reason behind that is because this file is not analyzed what i did is i dragged it on the desk from the desktop and i dropped it onto the uh, preview window but that is a mistake that the people do this file needs to be analyzed by record box first okay so what you need to do is you will have to drag it okay and drop it into the collection all right once it's dropped into the collection the file will be analyzed by record box and once that is done now when i load a track okay all i need to do is instead of going to the desktop i have to go to videos right and this is that video here and i drop it here now you can see that this link button here is available to link. Now the reason why it was not linking is because it did not have anything to link it to. It needs to be analyzed by record box and that was the simple mistake that the DJs were doing. So all you need to do is click link. Once you click on link, this will turn blue, which means that every time you load this particular track, uh, which is Arabian Nights Racing, okay, this link video will automatically uh, be dropped into the video preview window. So let me just show it to you. If I drop Gypsy, the video is gone because there's nothing that I have linked as of now. We will come to that as well. But if you see the small logo here, which means that this track is linked to a video file. So every time I drag it and drop this file, the video will automatically be dropped. So one step less, which means that you don't have to worry about linking or dro dropping a video file every single time. So that is how you can use the link function. So now I have just one video here. If I have another track, like say Gypsy, if I drag it and drop it, I have no video here. Again, 
if I want this to be played along this video file to be played again, I will add that to the collection. Once that's added to the collection and that track is analyzed, if you drag it and drop it, you can see that the link tab is available. Now click on that and that will be linked. So every time you play Gypsy, see I've added Ole Ole and nothing plays, right? As soon as I add Gypsy, this file will also be added. So that is an easy way to start VDJing using audio files. Now, this is something, uh, this video file is just a download from one of the sample sites where you can get like a background, graphic background and all of that. Now, obviously, if you are not having access to this, for whatever reason, if you're not unable to have uh, access to these videos, Recordbox actually allows you to have these videos played automatically. Yes, there is a way. So for that, what you need to do is you have to click on settings and then in Recordbox video over here, you scroll down and you can see that you have an option called download sample video. Okay, when you click on this, a folder with a lot of uh, sample visualizers will be downloaded. It's a visualizer basically, right? So I will show you in my downloads tab. I just recently did that. There you go. This is the folder that will be downloaded. Okay. Once that is downloaded, it will be added into your record box uh, library as well. What you need to do is you have to change the small settings. So in the settings tab, there is an option where it says when loading a track without video, which means an audio file, what do you want record box to do? As of now, it says do nothing on deck one and do nothing on deck two. All you need to do is select a visualizer and display it randomly. Now, this is an option which you can choose. What this means is every time you drop an audio file. So let's drop this audio file, for example. You will see that a random uh, video file is also dropped. Now, when I play this, this visualizer plays along with the beat of the file. Now, let me drop another file and show it to you. As soon as I drop this file, a different video will be added. Now, if I drag another file, a different video will be added. And when I play that, this will be this video will be played according to the BPM of the track. And that is the charm of the visualizer, all right? So that is an option. So if, even if you are not a video DJ yet, and if you're getting into uh, video DJing, all you need to do is, uh, you know, get yourself a plugin with the Recordbox video plugin, which is a part of the Recordbox creative plan. All you need to do is drag and drop your audio and then select that option, which I showed you earlier, which is this one. Select a visualizer and display it randomly. And then now you can start VDJ and this is a start for you. So there you have it. That is how you can start using Recordbox video to get into video DJing. And these things are free. You don't have to pay anything to try all these functions. Of course, if you want to start using it professionally, you'll have to opt for the creative plan. But to try all these things, it's completely free. Just download Recordbox version 6 and you can try all of these functions for free to see if you think you're made for video DJing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, while you're at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is DJ Bhamra. Any questions you have, message me and I will reply back with all the answers. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help and happy holidays.